Hello folks, welcome to Transportation Matters. I am Adam Ludlow in Mississauga, Ontario today at Bison Transport's terminal. We're going to be speaking with representatives from Bose and Bison about Bose's ride system. It's a vibration cancellation system and we're going to find out about all the health and wellness benefits for drivers. Let's find out. The name Bose you may recognize from the world of electronics and audio equipment, but the Bose Ride team is more concerned with cancelling vibrations as opposed to creating them through your speakers. Michael Rosen of the Bose Ride team says the seat can cancel up to 90% of vibrations, which can have great health benefits for the truck driver. So how does it work? Rosen gave Transportation Matters an exclusive look at the technology, starting with the suspension base. There are sensors attached to this, which is attached to the truck floor, that sense acceleration. And think of yourself as coming to a pothole. You come to a pothole, the truck floor starts to go down into the pothole. The sensor detects that the truck floor is going down. It tells the electronics package, which provides the energy for the actuator to extend. So as the truck goes down, the driver is held up. And the driver doesn't experience the shock of the truck going into the pothole. So why do we care about vibrations so much? For one, there's your organs, which Rosen showed can shake violently while driving. These vibrations put stresses on the human body and on the organs, and medical researchers are looking at how these vibrations and how these stresses impact the wellness of occupations such as truck driving. Besides your organs, Rosen also pointed to the effect vibration can have on your back. The spine, when you're standing up, has an S shape to it, and it's a good shock absorber. It's actually a pretty good spring. But when you sit down, one of those S curves flattens out. And not only does it flatten out, but the individual bones, or the vertebra, when you're sitting, they're no longer parallel. And like this little picture here, you can see they're at an angle with each other. And there's an uneven force applied to the disc, the connective tissue between the vertebrae. And this puts the back in a, a susceptible circumstance where if you were to apply shock and vibration below, from below, as is experienced by a truck driver, now you've got a situation where the back is more easily injured than it would be when you're standing up. Rosen also demonstrated how simply supporting and stabilizing our heads while driving, coupled with vibration, can increase fatigue and even alter our visual perception to make it more difficult for drivers to notice changes in their environment. Rosen said vibration starts being an issue for the human body at as little as two vibrations per second and demonstrated how the Bose system's electrical package is able to operate at ever-increasing speeds, whether it be 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32 times per second. Rosen demonstrated how the Bose seat works using optical sensors. I have here a normal basketball. It bounces like a normal basketball. The top of the motor is a metal plate. The ball will bounce on it, too. What if we thought of this ball as the person that we were trying to protect from vibration? We wouldn't want it to bounce. We'd want it to be caught without bouncing. For that, you'd have to be pretty darn fast. You'd have to see it coming and react quickly. The motor is extended, the sensors are watching for something, the electronics are prepared to calculate. Even though I throw that ball down very hard, the sensors detect the movement, they tell the electronics box, there's a job to do here and it's happening very fast, and the actuator responds just at the right time, just at the right speed, matches the speed of the ball, and catches it gently. The Bose Ride system has caught the eye of Bison Transport, prompting the two to launch a pilot project. Over the past 18 months, Bison Transport has participated in a uh, fatigue study through the Canadian Trucking Alliance. In that study, we were trying to determine the effect of fatigue in a driver's daily cycle, and then his overall effect of fatigue in, in, a, in a trip. And what we found is that a driver is certainly more fatigued at the end of the day and then the impact that it has in his overall trip schedule, they're more fatigued at the end of it. So we're trying to see what the benefit of having 
what effect this seat will have on the fatigue of a driver at the end of the shift and the end of the trip. Enjoying a vibration-free ride here in Mississauga, Ontario, I'm Adam Nuddle for TMTV.